here in Berries and Edmonds, uh, in February 2009, I read in the Berryfree Press that the Queen was coming to Berry, and we thought it would be a good idea to ask if we could actually present the Bible to the Queen. So I asked our head office if any plans had been uh, agreed to, to do this, and they said no, and I said, they said we could write to the Queen and ask her if it was possible although they did say that don't be disappointed if she says no. I wrote to the Queen and sadly I didn't have a reply. So when the Queen came on the Maundy Thursday, Marie and I went down in to outside the Athenaeum and waited for her to come and we waved to her as she went into the Athenaeum and when it was all over I wrote to her again and I told her how disappointed we were that we weren't able to present your Majesty with a copy of the Bible in our 60th year, which we were celebrating that year. Two weeks later, I had a telephone call from Buckingham Palace to say they were very sorry, but in fact, the Queen had received both the letters that I'd written to her, and she had agreed to accept a copy of the Bible whilst she was here in Berries and Edmonds, but sadly, the Deputy Private Secretary of the Queen hadn't made the arrangements with, with us so that it wasn't possible. Marie and I received an invitation later in the year to go to a garden party at Buckingham Palace and present Her Majesty with a Bible, which we did. And it was absolutely delightful occasion. Really, really lovely. And the Queen said to us as we met her, I'm very sorry about the mix-up in Bury St Edmunds. And... Uh, we said, that was perfectly all right, Your Majesty. We forgave you for that. Thank you for inviting us to your garden party. And the Duke of Edinburgh said, don't you think we have enough Bibles here? And Marie said, oh, I'm sure you do, Your Royal Highness, but this is a very special Bible. We're Gideons and we give this, this, we're celebrating 60 years of Gideon ministry. And I said to Her Majesty, I said, Your Majesty, your father would be so pleased to see what we're doing here today. And she said, oh, and I had a little copy of a little testament. I, oh, I have, yes, I have. This, I pulled this out of my pocket, this little testament, and I said, your father wrote a little message in here, Your Majesty. This is very similar to the little testaments that we give to the children in school. And this is what your father wrote. I commend to you the reading of this book. For centuries, the Bible has been a wholesome and strengthening influence in our national life, and it behoves us in these momentous days to turn with renewed faith to this divine source of comfort and inspiration. And the Queen said, could I have a copy? And I said, Your Majesty, I've put one in your little Bible, and I had put one in her Bible. And now, when we go into schools, we, we have to say to the children in the schools, you don't actually have to accept a copy of this if you don't want one. But before you decide, I'd like to just tell you a little story. And I tell her that little story about what happened to the Queen and how the King had written that message in there. And, I, and I, we tell them that if you take a copy today, that same message is in fact in that testament. And we stick that message in the testaments and we give them to the children. And they are so pleased to accept a copy. And that's been a wonderful fill-up to our ministry in the schools, because that's by far our biggest, as I think I've said before, our biggest uh, ministry that we do.